Okay, so we just finished spinning these down and see, you can see a button that's on the bottom. So when you pull these out, you want to be very, very gentle when you take them out so that you're not breaking um, the buttons apart until you're ready to look at the reactions. Let's see, I know I'm shaking, I'm sorry. So we have our forward typing here and we're gonna pull out our reverse typing. Okay, so we do have um, buttons there. Now to judge if there really is agglutination, you're going to pull them up, take them in your hands, hold them gently, and you're going to just shake them ever so much. Okay, just a little flick is fine. And if you'll notice, the A is continuing to have a really big button. So we're going to think that this person um, is A, I'm sorry, that's B. Huh. Um, the B is very um, prominent. And so we're thinking that the reaction is going to be B something uh, because it doesn't look like the A has any agglutination at all. The button completely broke apart, okay? And it's cloudy, which means that um, it truly did break apart. Whereas this one, the anti-D is the same, and it's cloudy, so that means that uh, it's not hemolysis, okay? If it was clear and red, we would be thinking hemolysis there. So right now, the person is B, and that's a reaction of four plus, even though you can't really see it because I can't get my camera angle. There we go. There's a four plus right there. Okay, nice and big button. Okay, so now we're doing our reverse typing. And I have a nice button over here on my A cells. So I got this backwards on my A cells, um, which is confirming that I had um, a correct B, okay? And the B cells are breaking apart, okay? So we have, again, we have this um, not uh, extremely clear, a uh, little bit of cloudiness in, um, in the fluid that doesn't really show any uh, glutination. So if we were to look, look at those from above, we can see that the, the A has like, um, maybe like a one plus uh, type of reaction, if that, um, see, it little agglutinates. Um, and again, we know that um, the uh, reverse cells, they're already expired. So that's why we're not getting such a strong reaction to match the strong reaction that we had in the forward. Um, thank you very much. And that was um, ABO typing.